tell you that recording is in progress and <laughs> let me quickly tell you the flow of the session okay uh, so first of all you will get to know your mentor and then uh, you see a short informative ppt you can note down if you want anything uh, to note down then it will be followed by a virtual tour of the dashboard and then it will be followed by a question and answer round wherein you can put up your query and get it quenched then uh, it will be followed by the actual demo all right uh, so falak arnav shreyanshi and usmani please switch on your cameras uh, so we have with us janani janani bhaskar ma'am and uh, she has been with us for quite some time now uh, she is quite experienced in her subject right and she loves to interact with kids like you so without taking much time i'll request her to speak to you directly and introduce herself to you all over to you ma'am thank you so much ma'am good evening guys hope you're doing fine so this is janani baskar and i'll be your uh, mentor for the course and i'm sure that you all know that we are all here for vedic mathematics demo which is a very interesting course and i'm really happy and looking forward to interact with bright kids i can see that excitement in your faces so i'm really looking forward to uh, you know interact with you in the demo session and we'll have uh, much fun related questions in the demo session yeah thank you thank you so much ma'am children allow me to share my screen i hope it is visible uh, yes ma'am it's visible so uh, very warm welcome to each one of you to the demo and interaction program for classes 7 to 10 this is for vedic mathematics batch 1 so as you already know that olympiad success is india's largest online preparation platform for olympiad exams olympiad success live is india's first exclusive live classes for olympiad preparation school plus by olympiad success is one of its own kind of annual program that includes eight important courses that really matter at this point of time in your life and these eight courses include mathematics english science logical reasoning communication both spoken and written vedic math and coding so here you can get one on one online cbse icse igcse and ib classes uh, and all these for grades 2 to 12 you can also get one on one preparation classes for international mathematics olympiads like sasmo cmo hkimo timo math counts us common core math competition math kangaroo then prmo so you can see all our international rank holders for the year 2021 22 on the screen there are so many all of them are brilliant star performers so a vedic math is an interesting ancient indian system which was introduced for making very fast calculations so what will you get you learn how to solve the questions very quickly without committing any mistake become creative in terms of solving the problems and eliminating the use of calculator in your day to day life right uh so you'll get to know the basic introduction of vedic maths multiplication with 1 2 5 <laughs> and numbers from 21 31 41 <laughs> till 91 so vertically crosswise multiplication base method part 1 sub base method part 2 multiplication with series of nines and ones addition with split and merge method and round off method addition uh, by dasham dashamash and vilokanam division percentage fractions square and square roots cube cube roots decimal addition subtraction multiplication division concept of duplex concept of digital sum equations linear simultaneous quadratic calendar so live vedic math sessions will actually be group sessions with batch size of around 20 to 25 students classes will be delivered through zoom and you'll get two sessions per week thursday saturday timing would be 5 pm till 6 15 pm so the flow of the session would be like 35 minutes of class with 5 minutes of break in between followed by 35 minutes of class again so number of sessions would be 30 and syllabus is available at this particular link so don't worry all the important and relevant links will be pasted in the chat box by rajan sir So course fee is seven thousand eight hundred and two. 
and this includes online classes and reading materials and exercises. Payment can be made by clicking on this link. Okay. Now, all you require for these classes is laptop and desktop with good internet speak. And of course, camera is required because we do not allow students without video in the class. And headphones are required for better audio clarity. So uh, you require to spend at least an hour every day to make your calculations really fast, you know. And parental support is required for practice, checking answers, retaliating concepts and all. So the live classes for this particular batch starts from Saturday, 22nd April, 2023. And you might already be aware that Olympiad success in 2022-23 had students from more than 3,800 schools across India and abroad. And these students hailed from 35 plus countries, right? So remember, the classes begin from 22 April. All right, uh, so that's all from my side. Now I request Rajan sir to take you to the dashboard. All of it. Sure, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful presentation. Let's share my screen. So I hope my screen is visible. So students, this is the website of Olympiad Success. Okay. I'm just showing you how you can access the content. What you need to do, you need to click on my account. And here you need to log in with a credential uh, that we will provide you once you enroll with us. Let me log in with my credential for now. So this is the student profile. All the content you will find in the live classes. What you need to do, you need to choose the subject that is Vedic Maths. And here you can select the topic. So for each and every topic, you will find the reading material, practice question and answer key here. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is the reading material. Okay. For this topic, quick subtraction. Let me show you practice questions also. So these are the practice questions. Okay. And answer key is also available. Okay. Other than that, students, you can also check the schedule here, like in which session, which topic we are going to cover. Like in session one, we're going to cover this quick addition, then this, then this. In session four, we have subtraction. And then uh, we will have a common test. Okay. So after every three, four class, there will be a test. Okay. Mock <laughs> test that we are going to discuss in the classes also. And here you can check uh, like on which holidays uh, you don't have the classes. So this is about this dashboard students. Now, if anyone have any doubt or query, uh, you can ask us in the chat box. Do anyone have any doubt or query? <laughs> Please feel free to write and ask. We'll be happy to answer your query. This is the time to ask. Anyone have any query or doubt, you can write in the chat box. We'll be happy to answer that. Nobody has nothing to ask. Everything is crystal clear. Okay, let, let me ask some questions then. So students, can you tell me the days, the days on which you have in the classes? You can write in the chat box. So Nutan is asking, will we get certificate? Yes, Nutan, you will get the certificate. So after completion of the course, uh, at the end of the year, we will give the certificate. Yes, the uh, answer is correct. The classes are on third and Saturday. Okay, and students, what are the class timings? Five to six fifteen. It is AM or PM. You need to mention that also. Yes, it is five to six fifteen PM. Correct, correct. Any other any other questions, students? Any other question or doubt? For how much time this course will be? Okay, that you can answer me. So how many sessions are there? 
30 okay so you can calculate uh okay you can tell me like uh how how many months it, it will take to uh end this batch twice a waiting week. for your answer yeah monica ma'am uh, already give a hint we have the classes twice the week 7.58 okay any other answer no 8.5 7.5 these are not correct so it will come with three months three week okay any other answer okay let's see see uh, we have two classes in a week and there is four there are four weeks one so there will be uh, two times four eight eight classes eight classes in a month and how many classes we took in we have in total we have total 30 classes okay so in three months we will cover 24 classes and the other six classes we will cover in three weeks so it is correct uh, the course will end in three months and three weeks i think only one student answered that correctly okay students uh, do anyone have any other query or doubt or shall we start with the session don't be so quiet in your classes okay keep asking questions okay Please start the, the session <laughs> start the session okay ma'am i think we can start so over to you jandi ma'am thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am okay so i think everyone is excited for the session right aren't we yeah are we excited yes okay good so you all know that vedic math is going to ease your mathematical calculations it's going to simplify that and it's also making you going to going to help you to avoid your uh, careless mistakes if at all it's caused while calculating things and it's also going to simplify some uh, difficult calculations that you carry out in your mathematical actual math you know uh, scholastic maths right so this is going to be helpful for that and here is a sample for that okay so the basic uh four operations of math everyone knows what are the four basic operations of math just give me the signs also that's fine i'll be happy to know them ha good good very good very good okay so it's addition subtraction multiplication and division very good most of you gave the answers in the signs only and i understood that well okay good so what is your favorite sign among these four which you do, which do you think is the easiest of all here thank you aditya that's a brief answer ha huh, multiplication addition all the four raga wow that's great and division, addition, okay, good. But I hardly see any subtraction. Why do you think subtraction is the most difficult one? No one had ever given me a subtraction one in specific though yeah okay no problem i understand well so most of your answers were revolving around multiplication and division and all of this only these two majorly it's concerned with okay so now let me ask you a question this is going to be an easy question before that uh may i ask you if you were with us while doing the intermediate course now you all know this is an advanced level mathematical course do you know that i mean were you with us for the intermediate course as well okay no issues at all so don't worry no problem anyway in our sessions we are going to start it everything from scratch uh you know something that that relates to the advanced level we, we are going to begin from that so no issues at all well so here we go with that and uh, okay look at this this should be an easy question for you let me check who gives the answer very rightly in an appropriate time maybe let's say five seconds or something so can you tell me the product of 343 and 11 in five seconds and your time starts now Ha, 
Ah, good. So it's three seven three three seven three three or three seven seven three. Three seven three three seven three three or three three seven three or three seven seven three. Definitely not the first. So choose one A B C. Oh D, you have an answer. Okay, so let me put D as none of these. So now tell me what is your answer? Okay, good. See, you have an easy uh, calculating trick and that is when you're multiplying any number by 11, be it a two-digit number, three-digit number, four-digit number, five-digit number, any digit number with 11, you have a trick which is to write the last digit as it is. The three is written as it is as the last digit and then you are actually going to sum every two digit from the last, not from the beginning. You're going to sum it every two digits from the last. So we all know that three plus four is seven. So I've summed up two digits. Again, four plus three is another seven. And just write the first digit as it is. So the product of three, 43 and 11 is going to be 3,773. And the answer is option number C. That most of you got it. Amazing. So would you like to try a couple of questions in the same zone? Yeah. Okay. So this is 4842. No. 4242 times 11. Try this out. I won't give you options now. Ha, ah, that's good, Sujal. Good. Very good actions. Good name. Wow, everyone's getting it perfectly. And Raghav just checked for one of the digits. Uh, it's missing. So with Purna and Aviraj. Sanskriti, check one of your digits. You're missing a digit. And it's going to be easy. You're just copying down the last digit as it is. And you're summing up every two digits. Two plus four is six. Again, four plus two is six. Another two plus four is six. And write the first digit as it is. So the answer is going to be four, six, six. I mean, 4662, which is 46,662. So everyone got it? Give me a thumbs up if you got it. All of you have got it. Very good. Amazing. Amazing. Superb. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you another question with a carry. Okay. So far, the two questions we dealt did not have a carry. Right? You're just adding it up. Now, I'm going to give you a question with a carry. The same process you're going to do. Let me give a sample of one question followed by two questions, which you can try it on your own. Okay. Now, listen up. I would like to give you a simple three-digit number, which is triple nine times 11. Okay, so let's make it easy, guys. Uh, so let it be 909 times 11. Okay, now listen up. No, that doesn't have carry. Okay, 909, one times 11. Okay, now I'm writing the first digit as the last digit as it is. So one comes here. And what is nine plus one? It's 10, and since it's a two-digit number, I write only the second digit here and give it, give this one as a carry, okay? So now again, the next two digits, nine plus zero is nine, and adding one, which is which was the carry from the previous one, I still get a 10. So 10 again, another one carry, okay? And again, what is zero plus nine? That's 10, I mean 9, and the carry, adding 1 to it, you get 10. So this is again a 0 and 1 carry. And now you have only 1, which you have to write it as it is. But then there is a carry here. So 9 plus 1 will be 10. So this 10, you are writing as it is. So the answer will be 1 double zero double zero one. Did you all understand how it works? Yeah? Yes, has all of you understood? Has anyone any issues or any clarifications that should I make? Please write it in the chat box if you're not clear. You're clear, okay, good. No issues, okay, good. Now I'm gonna give you two questions and you're going to sort it out for me, okay? One is four, six, eight times 11. Another is one, two, three, four, five times 11.
Mm-hmm. Wow, good, great, 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 great. Okay. So I'll also repeat the process again after uh, all of you have given me the answer for both the questions. Okay. So don't worry. I will definitely be repeating the process. Okay. Yeah. Very good. All of you had given both the answers. Amazingly right. Very good. Now listen up. So the trick to multiply 11 is you're just writing the last digit as it is. The last digit is going to be 8. So I'm writing it as it is. Okay. And now what I'm going to do? I'm going to add every two digits. So we know 8 plus 6 is 14, right? So in this 14, since it's a two-digit number, I can write only one digit. So generally, when we have two digits, we give the second digit to the first digit to as carry, right? So this four, I'm copying it here. This one, I'm having it as a carry. This one is carried. Okay, now next, this six with four, six plus four will be 10. And I have a carry one here. So 10 plus one will be what? 11. Right, so again, it's a two digit number, so I have to write the second one here, and the first one I have to carry. This I'm carrying it. okay. Now I have to copy the first digit, the first digit is four, but then I have a carry of one here, right? So four plus one will be equal to five, so the answer becomes 5148. Any doubts? In getting this answer, have you all reached the answer as 5,148? Any clarifications to be made on this? Anybody? No. Okay. Okay, good. Very good. Similarly, the second one. Kunj, listen now. Okay, I'm writing the first, I mean, the last digit as it is. When you multiply any number with 11, the last digit of that number is going to be the last digit of the answer. Right? So the five is going to come as it is. So the last digit is five. Now going to the next one. I'm adding every two digits. So what is five plus four? It's nine. Right? So that's given. And then what is the next two digits? Four plus three. Remember, you should not skip adding four and three. Right? Some students make a mistake of adding five and four and then they directly jump to adding three and two. Right, so that's a mistake here. Before that, you should also make sure that you're adding four and three. So the sum of four and three is seven. So that I have it here. And then sum of, which two digits should I do? From three, I have to start with sum of three and two is five again, which I've written here. And then sum of two and one is three. Is it all? Is my job over or anything else missed? If so, what is missed? Yeah, the first one, which I have to write it as it is. So the first digit and the last digits are going to be the same. But if it, there is a carry, the first digit may default, right? Or else the last digit will definitely be the same as it is in your question. So the answer for this is 135795. So 13, I mean 1,35,795. Now, did you understand? Yeah. Did you understand? Did you understand all of you now? Yes? Clear? Okay, good. Well, so one more question on this and then we'll jump to another trick because this is going to be a completely trick-based course. You're going to make your jobs easier. So we are all going to learn as many tricks as possible. So we'll be very strong with each trick before we jump to the next, right? So just to make sure that you're strong with a particular trick, I'm going to give you two or three extra questions on this uh, same particular trick, okay? So here is the first one for you, which is, okay, tell me, should I give you a three-digit number, four-digit number, five-digit number, or a six-digit number? What's your favorite number? Three, four, five, six. Huh? Pick one. Six digit, any digit. Oh, you want me to give a nine digit number. Wow, that's amazing. Superb. Well, I'll definitely give you 11 digit number by 11 at last. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So for now, um, let's do this. 
five seven four one times eleven and uh, one three five seven times eleven and the third is a very interesting question double one double one double one times eleven Okay, so three questions and I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for these and your time starts now. Uh-huh, good, 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 good. Very good, Ni, Varna, Vakshaj, Nutan, Siddharth, San Sanskriti, check out the first digit. Then you, sh you should have missed the carry. Good, Sajal. Wow, the other fastest one, man. Very good. Nutin, good. The second one is right. Well, the first one, everyone got it right. And the second one is also right. Very good. Neve, Akshaj, yeah, that's right. Very good. Yeah, Nutin, that's an easy question, isn't it? But I guess you got to check the last minute of the third question, Nutin. That can't be two. Ha, ah, that's right. That's right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So can we start discussing? So the last digit is going to be as it is. And then I'm going to add them. One plus four is five. And five, I mean, seven plus four would be 11. And I got to write only the second one here. And the first one is taken as a carry. Okay. Now, 5 plus 7 is 12. But remember, I do have a carry here, which is 1. So, the answer will be 13. And of these, the 3 I'm writing here. And the 1 is taken as a carry. So, the first digit I'm going to repeat it, right? So, 5, which has a carry 1, when added with it, it gets into 6. So, the answer is 63151. One. Have you all got the answer as 63151 one for the first question? If so, show me a thumbs up. Yeah. Great. Very good. Everyone got it. Amazing. Super. Well, here we go for the next one. I think I can erase the processes so that it looks clearer when we are solving the next one. I'll just make sure that you can see the answers. That was 63151, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. Second one. So I'm just copying the second digit, I mean the last digit as it is. And I'm adding two two digits. Seven plus five is 12. So two here. And the one is taken as a carry. Okay. And then. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus the 1 carry is 9. So 9 comes here, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So is the answer that's all 4,927? Am I right with my answer? Am I right? No, I'm not right. Can you please guide me where I've gone wrong? Yeah, I have missed to write the very first digit. So that should come here and the answer becomes 14,927. So this procedure is the same. You're going to write the last digit as it is in some every two, two digits and finally end up writing the first digit as it is. If it has the carry, you're just adding the carry with the first digit and that will be the first digit of your answer. Clear with the process, guys? Can I go for the last question? Are you ready? Yeah. So that's an easy question, isn't it? So this last one comes here. So one plus one, two. This two comes here. And uh, this one plus one, two comes here. And uh, one plus one, two comes here. And... One plus one, two comes here. And one plus one, two comes here. And finally, the one as it is. So one, double two, triple two, one is the answer. All right? One, double two, triple two, one is the answer. So how do you pronounce the name? I mean, what is the number name of this? Can someone tell me that in the chat box? I know it's taking time to type, but then it's okay. Can you type the number name of this? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Can you type the type the number name of the answer of the third question? I'll wait for a minute. One million two hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred twenty-one is the Western style of writing it, and that's right. Good. So, uh, Vedic math is an Indian system of calculation, right? So let's take on to the Indian way of writing it, which will be twelve twenty-two thousand two hundred and twenty-one. Very good. That's right. Even one minute. That was all right. I take it. Okay, so cool, guys. So clear with the multiplication by eleven. Can I go for the next trick? Hmm. Can I go for the next trick? Are you all ready? Okay, good. Now listen up. Okay, I'm going to do this multiplication hack with you. Okay, but before I give you the trick, see there are a lot of tricks, and each trick has its own um. Uh, what should I say? Own own way of own place of application, right? Not every trick is employed everywhere. If not, you'll not get many tricks, right? So there are certain tricks that. can be restricted to certain things okay so i'm going to write few questions here okay please listen to me carefully now i'm going to write few questions here i do not want the answer of any of the questions rather i want you guys to let me know similarities among the questions okay all the questions I'm, if i'm going to write three questions all the three questions will have something common in them and you are going to type out the common similarities in them are you ready for that yeah okay 32 times 38 45 times 45 54 times 56 so these are the three questions i have written so what are the similarities among the three questions there are two similarities i give you that what are the two similarities you find in all the three questions very good so the first thing is the tens digit is common or tens the number in the digit in the tens place is same or common okay good you have 3 here 3 here 4 here 4 here 5 here 5 here right so the digits are same and what is the second one yeah good the sum of the ones place Two plus eight is equal to what? Ten. Five plus five is equal to again ten. Four plus six is equal to another ten. So sum of ones place should be equal to what? Ten. Now these are the two conditions you have to look for to apply the particular rule. Okay, when you are multiplying a two-digit number by another two-digit number, you got to check whether these two conditions are satisfied. So the condition is tens digit should be same and sum of ones place should be equal to ten. Okay, now tell me if this is applicable here. The trick that we are going to learn is that applicable here in the fourth question that I've written fifty-six times fifty-three. No. Why is it not applicable? Why isn't it applicable here for the last question that I've written? Ones place when added will not be equal to ten. Good because six plus three is just nine, right? So that's not equal to ten. Well, so now these are the two conditions that we have checked for. Now in all the first three questions, these conditions are true, isn't it? Okay, now we are going to do the calculation. Okay, guys. Now tell me what is two times eight? You are just multi. The first step is you are multiplying ones place. So what is ah uh, two times eight? What is three? Two times eight? Sixteen. So that sixteen will be the last two digits. So I'll give you step by step process. Okay. So the first step is multiply ones place. Okay, two times eight is sixteen. So that's sixteen. I'm writing as it is. Okay. Now the first digit is three. What is the successor of three? 
what is the successor of three? That is the next number to three is four. Good. So multiply this three with its successor. So three times four will be what? 12. So that will be 12 here and the answer becomes 1216. Okay, so when these two conditions are satisfied, you can just write the product of one's place as the last two digits of your answer. And the first two digits of your answer is going to be the product of the first number and its successor. That is the next number of it. Clear with this? Any doubts in the process? Any doubts? No? Can you all try the second question? Can you all try the second question? Please try it and give the answer. Yes, Kunj, you can actually give the answer doubt in your chat. Very good, Akshish, Devanshi, Nutan. Very good, Skanda. Good, good, Sujal. Uh, Sujal, no, check the second digit. Neev. Raghav, I'll explain the second step once again. So the first step is multiplying one's place. Okay, the second step is multiply the tens place digit because it's going to be the same digit, right? With its successor. Successor is its next number. Okay, so three is multiplied with four and you get 12, right? Yeah, now, yeah, we are multiplying it with four because four is the next number to three. That's that's what I told you in the second step. The second step is you're multiplying the digit in the tens place with its successor. The tens digit is three and you, when you multiply it with successor, that's four. Three times four, you get your answer as 12. So the answer becomes one, two, one, six in the first question. Okay, now coming to the second question. Okay, now five times five. The first step is to multiply one's place. 5 times 5 is 25. I'm writing it as it is. And uh, the tens place is 4 here. And 4 when multiplied with its successor. Successor is the next digit. So 4 times 5 is 20. So the answer is 2025. Ah, good, good, good name. Yeah. Third one is also right, all of you. Good. Clear with this? The answer is 2025. All of you clear with this? Yeah. Can you try the last question on this? Yeah, good, Rakh, good. Try the third question on this. Yeah, that's an easy question, good. So multiplying one's digit four and six, you get your answer is 24. And the, this five and multiplied with six, what do you get? 30. So the answer is 3,024. Very good. Very good. Super. You guys are rocking. Yeah, that's amazing. Super. Okay. Okay. Would you like to try a couple of more questions in the tricks combining the multiplication with 11 and this one? Yeah. Okay, so both the tricks combined, I'm going to give you uh, two or more than three questions and you're going to solve them for me. Well, for that first I'll clear my board and yeah. Okay, the first one is five, six, four, one times 11. Second one is 83 times 87. And the third one is 29 times 21. Come on.
Okay, very good. Okay, so now I'm just writing the last digit as it is and I'm adding them up. 4 plus 1 is 5 and yeah, 6 plus 4 is 10. So 0 here and keep the 1 as carry. And again, let me use this. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. And this 1 again a carry. And now this 5 I have to write as it is. So adding with the carry one, I get the answer as 62,051. All if you got the first one right, yes, I have checked it. Everybody got it right. Very good. Good, 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 good. Amazing, superb. Okay, so all those who have got this right, you can give one star for yourself because this is the, okay, this is the right answer. So the first star. Okay, let's check how many stars you get today out of three. Good. And now the second one is here. Will the condition be satisfied? Yeah, for the second question. So the first condition is the tens place are same. Eight and eight here, satisfied. And three plus seven is 10. So the, both the conditions are satisfied. And now I'm going for the process. That's the steps. Okay, good, 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 very good. So seven times three is 21. That's the product of one's digit. Seven and three is 21. So that will be the last two digits. And eight is here. The successor of eight is, that is the next digit to eight is nine. So eight times nine is 72. So the answer is 7,221. Wow, hush it good. Okay. Okay, Prachi, you can type your doubt. Maybe I'll give you time later. Uh, you can type it then. Okay, I'll help you out with that. Okay, so I think most of you have got your earned your second star as well. Good. Okay, let's check for the third star. Um, yeah, so here the conditions are satisfied, aren't they? Yeah, so two and two here, nine plus one is ten. Okay, so what is the product of nine and one? That's an easy question, I know. How is the product of nine and one? It's nine, good. But how many of you have written it as nine only? I got few answers. Okay, let's hold on with that. And the ones digit is two. So two times three is six, right? So will the answer be only 69? No. So where did we go wrong? Yeah, good. When it is... I told you that when you multiply the ones digit, you should get a two digit number. If you're getting a one digit number, then make sure you write it as a 09 or a 03 or 04. That's your make sure you're adding zero before the one digit number. So the answer will be 609 and 69 is the wrong answer. Okay, so the right answer is 609. So, yeah, very good. So, this is the third answer. And if you got it as 609, then you get one full star. If not, I will give you only half star. So, either 2.5 or 3. Okay, so good. So, all of you got three stars. So many of you got three stars. I know. I've checked your answers. Good. So, that's amazing, guys. Superb. So this is the tricks that you're going to learn. Yeah. So what is the doubt that you had? Any doubts or clarifications in the tricks that we learned today? Any clarifications that I would like to make for you? I mean, that should I make for you? Uh -huh. Nothing. You got 69 because you didn't add the zero here. Yeah. Okay. Just to practice that, I'll give you one more question. You can try this out. 81 times 89. Now, that's exactly what we did. Wait a minute. 41 times 49. Right? Ah, good. That's easy. Very good. 
Very good. Both the answers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 1 times 9 would be 0, 9. And 4 with its successor 5 is 2, 0. So the answer is 2009. Very good, guys. All of you got it. And I see few, very few of you had written this two not nine. Forgetting to add a zero when you add, if, if you're not getting two digit answer. Right? So, yes. So, how was the session? Can I get your uh, reviews on the session in the chat box? Did you like it? Were the tricks interesting? Was it new? Did you learn a new one? Are you happy learning them? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, thank you. That was nice. Very good. Okay. So there are many more tricks like, you know, you can, uh, you know, you do long divisions to find a square root of a number to square a number. Okay, we have a lot of tricks to remember the squares. Like if I ask you what is 41 square, if I ask you what is 53 square, you will be able to tell it in 10 seconds. And that's really amazing, isn't it? And so all of these th tricks we will be learning in our sessions. So I wish to see you all in our session soon. And before I end, when does our session start? Let me check if you remember. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. That's fine. I'm asking the date. Twenty second of April, twenty twenty two, right? Hmm. Twenty twenty three. Good. So twenty second of April, twenty twenty three. Our session starts, and I wish to see you all there. Until then, thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye bye. That's a demo session, you know. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you.